glad you're here too. You're the governor's son, right? Uh, oh, I have some. Your father believes there is. I. I, 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 I when, is hot about people. You hit if you sing. They are. Of my, you, uh, oh. Good day to you, Lammy. Good day to you, sir. Doors blocked on the other side. Our bread, not our ale, our bread! Do you want us to starve? I should have the yeast. You know it, Mistress Barrow, you know it. If you want... Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCray? I'll take my leave of you, Governor.
date you, sir. Likewise. Red McCreath. You? A pericottle, blowing the baker. What are you doing out here in the rustics? I'm a banisher. I'm looking for ghosts. Find no ghosts here, sir. Nor demons. The governor, in his piety, sees to that. I envy your faith, Mr. Cotto. How's that working out so far? Have you noticed anything strange lately? Changes in demeanour, odd comings and goings? Lucy Barrow goes picking plants. All furtive like. I've seen her. I've watched her. She puts them in her strange concoctions. Won't tell me what's in there. Maybe she'd spill it to you. And where might I find this Lucy Barrow? The ale wife, when she's not furtively picking herbage, may be found in the ale house. A man can do any number. Well, any of it. He was a hot. What brought elsewhere? What's this? Ah, uh, no. Uh, uh, he's. He's not like his father. No, no not at all. I should go. How are you, Mr. Bachelor? I do. See, no, do you? We've sealed. I have. And as where is. I'll steal. Beach it for some time, but the. the you. I'll make. Enough people are suspicious of Lucy Barrow. That I am too. Let's see if the rumors are true. Good day, sir. Good day, uh, madam. Mistress, Lucy Barrow, the alewife. Red McGrath, the banisher. Alewife, is it? I have guess I'm looking at you. And what does an ale wife look like, Mr. Banisher? She's got you there. Can I ask you something? You may. It is delicate. You're the subject of certain rumours. Did you know this? What are you talking about? They say you burned someone's house down. Revenge? They say. They say that, do they? They talk, Mr. McCraith, while I work. They'll drink my ale, let them talk. Right. Is that all? They say you put herbs in the ale. Amongst other things, yes. You'll note that they also drink the ale. And don't you believe everything you hear? Can I ask, have you noticed anything strange lately? If you have, be sure to tell me. I'll be sure to tell you if I see any suspicious. Well, tell me what I, I was. What brought you through? Honest, I don't know what I've seen her. But sweet. He, I am a woman. He. Would you be interested in the trader? What do you need?
I'll take my leave of you for now. Have a good... I doubt she's who we're looking for. There was another name. Caleb Watson. Good day to you, Mr. McGrath. I'd wish you the same. Smile, law. I would have liked. Have you our? They get the in time, perhaps. You as a child, you want I go. He. I'll see you later, Ishmael. Any. Caleb Watson. We keep hearing that name. Let's pay him a visit. Looks like we found the cobbler's shop. Smells even worse here. Oh there. Are you all right, sir? We're closed. Uh, oh, now, how would you leave? Leave. I can tell from your sorry demeanor that you won't mind me asking you a couple of questions. I'm Red McCraith. I'm a banisher. I'm searching the area for evidence of witchcraft. And you, I can tell, are itching to help me. Show your shite and shapes, goose peddler. No witches here. Only myself, Caleb Watson. The governor bade me make the rounds. Is anyone acting strange? Why would he ask you that? Everyone keeps secrets. And I have a talent for uncovering them. I ain't got no secrets. I ain't done no wrong. Search me out, if you don't believe me. See for yourself. And when you're done, if you're any kind of man, you'll come back here, doff your cap, apologize, then shite off and never come back. If you're looking for someone acting strangely, I think you've found your man. Tell me a tale. What have you heard round about lately that might be a bit gossip? I'll be a man could fear not. They'll bugger off soon. They both will. Anyway, should have been ours since the beginning. You know. Shite off. 
I'll be leaving you alone for now. This is wrong. It's wrong, wrong, I tell you. Fascinating. Does each citizen have their own? What do you think? Two of them are missing. Alexander and Ruth Watson. Hmm. Family? Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. Being courted by two brothers at once rarely ends well. It's house not experience. Don't go there. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. Hugh Bachelor said Lucy Barrow cost the house and it burned down. The house burned down, and I suspect the rest is nonsense. What's this? It's not metal, not wood. Bone. It's bone. Lovely. Ishmael Law said Watson lost his wife and brother. Caleb Watson is out of his mind with grief. I think we need to talk to Caleb Watson. It's ours anyway. Should have been ours since the beginning. You know it's true. You done enough sniffing? Hmm? Tired of the smell of your own ass? You said you had no secret. I can smell a pox on you. You're not taking... Those bond, Deb. You must have little business if you spend it. It came from the house, probably. I read your letter to Ruth. My name is lusting for his beloved Ruth. You're Frank. No. It was terrible. You might have shite on me. What? Shite off. You needed to. Nothing happened. Whatever happened, it happened at God's Acre. Fear not. You'll bugger off soon. They both will. Thoughts on Caleb? You first, young man. Talking to Caleb felt like talking to a group. I'm thinking possession. Possession is plausible, but the clues are confusing. We jump to no conclusions. Instead, we gather proof. God's Acre? God's Acre. Too heavy to lower from your side.
Here we are. Let us find the graves of Alexander and Ruth, and whatever got Kate up acting so strange. This is the course. Robbers. Yes, but what exactly were they stealing? Watson, there's another grave beneath it. to distract wayward spectres. Rudimentary. Someone's had a little training. If undertakers did this, they should find other work. I doubt there's a job on Earth that suits whatever did this. Here did lie Alexander Watson. Caleb take their bodies. Someone did. And he's at the top of my list. Well, they made quite the mess. Perhaps the decoys may show us the way. Follow the path. Don't get too close. I'll try. This way, more of them. Your funeral! Huh. 
That's what I was talking about when I said don't get too close. Demonology, I should have known. God's green hell is this? Fight now, talk later. A vicious scourge that despises the living. In these lands, what a surprise indeed. Shrines now? With bones? It's like Lady Blackwood's boudoir around here. Should we take a glimpse at the past? Oh there, fella. You nasty, aren't you? Nasty, yes. But also shoddy. It's very poor work. Are you sure we didn't miss anything? With a bit of luck, we'll find what we need. something spectral nearby.
I feel something close. What is this? It looks like a butchered version of the ritual of lesser palingenesis. The ritual of... that ritual? The one that brings someone back? That ritual? Yes, that ritual. Present yourself! Unveil yourself! I felt this one all right. Now the past is mine to see. Verb, as verb unto heart, as heart unto flesh. Death's knot is unsevered, and I shall cut it. Caleb Watson invoked a ghost without a body for it to inhabit, so it took his. Caleb is no longer Caleb. He got the wrong ghost too. He used pieces of his wife and also of his brother. Ruth, Alexander, Caleb could be any combination of them in there. Let's go find out which. Back up! Troubles about. Yeah. I 
Who should I be that the rich one for what? Caleb's work was poor. Your work will be good. Cold feet? No. Not now, not ever. The ritual shall work, and all shall be well. I promise. Been to God's Acre. Quite the tale it told us. You're not Caleb, are you? Or at least not entirely. Ah, can't fog you. Alexander Watson. Long tale short, Caleb tried to bring his dead wife back. And I live here now. So many questions. Where to even start? Caleb made a fine cobbler, a poor brother, a worse husband, and a truly terrible witch. The ritual went to shite, because, of course he did. <laughs> Do both of you share Caleb's body? Share? <laughs> no. This house of flesh is mine. But because I am a generous man, I allow my brother to live in the cellar. We were twins. I was the rotten half, they said. But who's the rotten half now? There's something else you should know. If you don't know it already. I'm not alone. I completed the ritual. My darling Ruth is in here too. You used the ritual to bring Ruth's spirit into Caleb's body. Why? Love moves a soul to strange endeavours. We deserve a better life. I set myself to claiming it. I understand your anger. More so your desire. But what of Ruth? Did you consider what she wanted? Caleb stole a life from me. But he also stole Ruth's voice. She shrank beneath him. Of course she wanted a second chance at life. I'd like to hear this from Ruth. May I please speak with her? No! We've carved ourselves out a little happiness at last. I'll not have you break it. Please, leave us alone. Give us this. We need to speak to her, one way or another. If he won't tell us anything, perhaps the house Ruth... Caleb was no saint. Aye, he can hear me. He took our look, Caleb. You took Honest with this, this. Kick him. You're welcome. What? The hat both. What's My rascals have dragged my. Tip. What the. I. I. Oh. It's going. Hope they find that witch that... I'll be leaving you alone, my friend. Alone? Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again.
Hush now. All is well. Nothing bad will ever come to us again. Ruth and Alexander are having an affair in her husband's body. I can't find an angle with that. Isn't just plain wrong? Something feels wrong. Something about Ruth. If we find the ghost tie, we can talk to her. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I'll take my leave of you, Governor. Mr. McCraith. The barn down. The roof fell in with them inside. There's a lot of debris. Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. I greet you, sir. Thank you for your help. You are... Something has me. 
words. The ghost words feel far away from here. Just one keeps me from manifesting. Fancy knocking it down? I'm at your side again. Balanga Kaliya. Huh? Balanga Kaliya. Time must be near. Ruth's heart binds them like a bushel of rotting corn. This work shows real sensitivity. Caleb? Maybe. Not Alexander. I you. suspect we've just what learned a little about there? Ruth. Stop, Stop right, right there, there, you rank rump! Whatever, Whatever you found, you found 
It ain't yours. You buried Ruth's heart in the ashes of the house that killed her. I find that odd. You, a ghost, went digging in the ashes of a dead woman's house. You're ill-positioned to call me odd. Don't think I haven't felt your presence before. Stole your tongue when I speak with Ruth. Ruth, can you hear me? Can you speak? Pock off and die! I'm in charge here! No! Hush ye, Alexander. I'll speak. I'm Ruth. I hear you. I'm Antea Duarte. We're here to help. Oh, I'm glad. Please, end this nightmare. Help me. Go to hell in a bag of shite. We're fine. And you have not the right, you hear? You've not the right. Her heart! Give it back! He come full. Amigiri. No more does he silence me. We may speak. Help me, please. Who taught Caleb the resurrection ritual? To say it was taught would mean he'd learned it. He read it off a page. As a sorcerer, Caleb makes a fine cobbler. The thing about Caleb, he was a good listener. As he worked, clients had bend his ear. The Haskell boy, for one. As Caleb pinned the governor's shoes, young Lammy would talk magic. Nonsense, really. But Caleb was listening. Wait, we Lammy Haskell gave Caleb the resurrection ritual? After Lammy mentioned the ritual, Ca Caleb... Caleb's letter changed your life. How did it feel at the time? He told me in two. I loved Alexander. I thought oh, he... How that he was the sc Ruth, your husband Caleb's botched resurrection ritual brought... Once we deal with the Watson brothers, do what you must. I'll suffer it if it leaves me... No! no! We can stay. Please, look at you. Your Caleb lied and stole your love. But when the time was right, you lied and stole his body. We're ending this nonsense now. Caleb Watson, your past saving. We can but grant you the mercy of oblivion. But, but what about me? What about Ruth? Ruth is free to go. I shall have my rest now. Thank you.
The line twixt love and hate is thin and easily crossed, especially between brothers. None are better placed to wound than your own blood. That was something. Don't take it to heart. Their choices are not your business. Our choices are my business. And their consequences too. Our love story shall have a better ending. I shall be as I was before, as if I'd never gone away. I... I hear you. Good. Now, let's see what Lamy Haskell has to say about raising spirits from the dead. Governor. May I help you, Mr. McCraith? I have to admit, this is an unusual case. Yes, yes, but have you solved it? I believe so. But the culprit was not responsible for the plague, at least not directly. Have you found the witch or have you not? Someone here has been dabbling in some dark magic. I have the name. So? What are you waiting for? Don't you want to hear the name? I do not need to. The principle is what matters. Not exactly. The name is Lamentation Haskell. No, it can't be. My son is studious. Curious, too curious at times, perhaps, but he does not have a bad bone in his heart. He showed Caleb Watts in a ritual. The cobbler used it and became possessed. Even if true, it would only mean my son was exposed to corruption. It happened before. Bring me proof, Banisher. Find the real source of evil. I'll get it. Mark me. I must find your son, Governor. Sooner rather than later. His interests take it. He's been spruced. Go there, needless. He was quick to condemn till it was his own son on the block. Who is he really protecting? We'll bring him the proof he wants. If the boy is guilty, his father may not be able to protect him. Something's emanating from under there. No one. Stay down! Why 
One of these must be Lammy's hideaway. Beware. Wards. I can't worry. Red, I can't manifest any more. Lamy, you here? Doors blocked on the other side. You were studying botany. Why botany?
The incisions are clean. The precision of an expert. There's magic here, though faint. Arrowly, mean anything to you? Not a thing. You mentioned an old mill. Seem fascinated by the place. We need to find the key to open this. Nothing incriminating... yet. Remember what we found at Caleb Watson's? Maybe we're not looking in the right place. If I had something to hide, I might hide it in an abandoned mill. Miss a few. Run, Red. There's more of them. Watch out. Spectre position. Watch out. Spectre position. Get back up! March in there! Why a mill? Away from the village. Perfect for his research. Perfect to hide secrets. He's not out here for pleasure, that's for sure. Peaceful. Like home on a good day. Oh, it's hilly, mate. Aoife liked playing with the lambs. Blair preferred to feed them. And I was too busy dreaming. And you? Oh, I cooked them for dinner. The lambs, I mean. The girls were furious. Yes. But they weren't hungry. I... Stay down! This 
specters have gathered around. Why not force them to appear? Reveal your true self. I have another insight. One less to worry about. Your funeral! Miss a few.
board. Look to me. Don't let that specter get to the core. Stay down. we expect up there a gateway to the mythical Aralu, whatever that is otherwise terrible tragedy dark doings sick secrets and a wild guess Derelict. Is he really inside? I don't think so. The ward's power is gone. Guess we're not going that way. There should be a way up here. Who's that? Yes. Something's here.
What hides here in the dark? Come out, come out. Déjà vu. He tried his hand at several translations. This relay lad seems dangerous. His apprentice seems to be following him down the same path. So, what are you hiding in here, evil spawn? Glancing at the original writing, Lamy's work was poor. No wonder the ritual he spawned for Caleb from those botched words of power went wrong. More ghost wards. Someone was being extra careful. He doesn't speak well of his dad. Did he seek power? Was he hoping to step out of his father's shadow? If he did, he went the wrong way about it. We need to get to the top floor. Bet we'll find something. Red, come look. No oh, crank, great. Why did he feel like he needed so much protection? More magic muckery. He wished to disguise his presence, or perhaps to distract from it. It's just a lift. Why is this mechanism so complex? That book, again. The Agrippa. That's not good. Not good at all. What level of not good are we talking about exactly? This book promises eternal life, but the promise is a trap. Let's hope it hasn't been used. Lift 
lift should work there. was up to, and the signs are not encouraging. You know, I could get to like it underground. The darkness, the gloom, the cool air. Really? No, not really. Not at all. This ivy is well rooted in the invisible. Right. Therefore, it was Free soon enough, you bastard. This one too. Strike down the pillars. You'd miss it, you know you would. Dead animals, again. Different symbols and magic. Seems they were used as bait. Is this how we got through the Sorrow's vigilance? Sorry, no can do.
impressive. So, here we are. I suppose now, we step into the void. Suppose we do. Dark rituals, void breach, general weirdness. Only can't be far. Red, I can't manifest anymore. Wards, you're on your own. It's awfully calm. Why is it awfully calm? Just really like pushing the limits of their knowledge without considering other lives. That just makes them human. You're on your own. A ward restrains me. Spectres. They haven't noticed us. Stay low. Devil take it! Careful now. Take that to your face. Wards. I'm going to need a hand here.
creepy hideout. The governor Spawn likes a bit of drama. This is some dark, sideways magic. It's forbidden. I've read it. Sometimes I worry about you. Ugh. What is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It... Ugh. What is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. This one's different. Looks like it died diseased. So, you can see me. Aren't you full of surprises, young Master Haskell? You may talk. A banisher ghost. Amazing. How on God's earth did you find me? Never mind that. Thank the Lord you did. I thought I was going to grow old in here. As hiding places go, the void is quite the choice. Yes, an amazing place. Oh, plane? World? The Aralu is not easily to be made. We fought. You fought? This isn't. Oh. From the look. Searching. Now it's. The look. You see. The Although there is a it carry to find the arrow I found. I'm like that. What each did you sudden? Yo, when I was so I stopped. We must talk of Caleb Watson. Ruth's he took a kick. I should you should. I've not off. Your father. Ah. When those more recent. On his. When I help. Let's do the. How may I help you? Um, Let's go take a closer look at that. And with that, do the. Uh, uh, pardon? Oh, what is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. Oh, what is this thing? Banisher rule number four. If it oozes, don't touch it. Another botched experiment? It may be native to the void. And there, we should get going. So, the pious governor's unassuming son is our evil Harrow's witch. The more powerful the loose cannon, the more dangerous it is. I don't know that I buy Lamy's hair of the dog theory, but I feel strange, and I suspect the oop. Oh, God. I need a wee bit of help here. Ugh. Lamy was right. This stuff means business. Destroy those ghost wards if you want me back. Place is warded. I can't help you. Ghost wards. 
cannot manifest. I am warded. I cannot. Sorry, not this time. I don't think so. Sorry, not this time. through the breach, suffering like a festering wound. How delightful. Let's see what lies on the other side. Now step from the shadow. Focus, Red. Underground, looks like. Wonderful. Who goes there? I don't know, but I don't think we're alone. What might you be then? Is that a house from the Harrows? 
We may be below the well. No wonder they all got sick. Things here. What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. This house belonged to a certain Antipas and Clemency Gibbs. If their land was barren, they were struggling for money. Well. Look up. The ooze, uh, oozed through the very stone. And of all of them, just this one house fell down. Maybe it was personal. Could this house have been targeted by the ooze? Obviously. Look around you. Mr. and Mrs. Gibbs, have you read my paper? I read it, I. And then I washed my hands and prayed for grace. You claim to prove that there is no curse. Well... A witch would say that, wouldn't she? Wherever people gather to live, disease takes hold, and I believe... What are you doing? Your evil lies shall be destroyed. We know who you are, and you shall be judged, witch! They were determined to do for her. She built a case for her rationality, and they tore it apart. Try this on! Mrs. Gibbs, I presume. Think you can fend for yourself? I see a ghost ward. What are they doing down here? I'm right. Watch out. Spectre possession. Back down to hell. 
I'm going to need a hand here. Better. You're welcome. Now let's inspect the body. Stay dead. Clemency Gibbs blamed the epidemic on a witch. Come from New Eden time with the governor. That's not what Deborah's research pointed at. The Gibbs were not at home to rational explanations. See anything? Either the water table is full of ooze, or there's another source. Why search upstream? Over there. Oh, loose of little buggers. Don't step in that. I mean it. Find a way around then. Red, I can't manifest anymore. And you will not be judged. Forgive and I can't worry. Echoes are here, and the shadows speaking. They always appear near the ooze. So are the whispers. But which came first? More efficient than can, powder. Over here.
gunpowder. Say that to your face. Invigorated. It was weird. But pleasant. I told you. The whispers say the same things over and over. What kind of entity would be so obsessed? I don't know. I'm drawing a blank. It's over. Stay down. Watch out. Spectre possession. Away with you. Famous last words. Why hasn't the poison spread to the groundwater? Perhaps it shifts and shapes, like the void. Well, at the very least, it shifts. Looks like the ooze comes from a distinct source. Need a stronger hand from your favorite ghost?
I feel the dark curse or spell we found already. We should find that ritual secret that was about. I've kept the notes about the hut location. This whole country is rotten to the core. And you're just now reaching this conclusion? If I wanted your opinion, I'd give it to you. Perhaps if you gave me the space to have one, then we'd both be better off. Someone came through here, someone real, not just a shadow. This must be Antipas Gibbs. Hell of a fall to live through. What do you think, Antea? You wanted the space to have your own opinion. I'm giving it to you. Looks like the ooze got him. Now join in any time, Antea. What do you think I'm doing? What is luck in here? Time to work, Banisher. God's mouth. How could we let a witch come to our community? Instructing our children, no less. Tis no surprise. New Eden brims over with backsliders. The governor, chief amongst them. Aye. Many had to sicken and die for him to act. But the deed is not yet done. We must fight the Lord's good fight and cast the devil out for good. Many want to try the witch, aye. And many want to see her dead. Arsene Lecht! Those things 
things came through the ooze. They were like those oriental shapeshifters we fought in Bremen. Or Bake liquefy. This is something else. The ooze reacted to our presence. The Gibbs were so angry. Pure entitled bigotry. Maybe they were affected by the ooze. I mean, we've been snapping at each other since we got here. Something's toying with us. I think they made the ooze. I don't think the ooze made them. This is it. This is the source. Where do we get to it? Something tells me this is the condemned world. Do you think you could get that bucket down? The bucket is tainted. Vivid memory from the dead is somewhere near. The we are still breathes to her mouth. We are cursed, and you are sterling. Clemency, Antonis, please. The woman has been jailed. Her magic As for himself. custom, she will face but trial, can and justice will be brought to the situation. I'm a man of faith. Governor, we ask for safety. If we do not get it, there will be... The governor used Urim and Thummim, and that made his flock suspicious. Divination stones. He must have thrown them down the well when he sealed it. Why now? He's afraid. The Earth took the Gibbs house. Perhaps he thought he was a target too. The Gibbs had a hand in rigging the witch trial, but he was the one who sealed it. That echo proves that things were getting out of hand. For his son's safety and his own, Haskell must have feared the suspicious mob. Oh, this can't be good. So you listen? Deception! 
Hunter. Never was. and I've no reason to show mercy. Get back to its shadow.
enough. Can we please get out of here? That was awful. This trial. It was as if Deborah wanted us to face what she had faced. But all I feel is beaten. I feel powerless. I were always one move behind. Justice miscarried here. Of course. That's it. I know what that was. Such spectre of injustice has a name. The mythical infamy. I've only read about them. They're so rare, most think them a myth. Ignorance caused this. A raging epidemic drove them out of their minds. Unable to look within, they pointed the finger. And so a terrible ghost was born, and sickness piled on sickness. Haskell has so much to answer for. Seems to be stuck. Need a little push to open up a path? Shall we? There is a path, once I clear the way. I love doing that. That down there, it was. I was tense. I was impatient. Me too. That infamy really got to us. Years of anger coursed through me. But now I can't even remember why. Me neither. This is what an infamy does. It's over now. We're here. I said something to hurt you. I'm sorry. I forgive you. And I hope that you forgive me too. How refreshing it is to the soul to be at once. Thus, still, one thing above all else, my friends, is true. The wicked are at odds with themselves. Oh, good. His latest sermon. We have. The Lord's promise of salvation from hell pleases them. 
The Lord's salvation from misery and sin here on earth does not. This doesn't look like salvation from misery and sin. The wicked pray for deliverance from the fires of hell while piling the kindling high. They proclaim their love for their Lord, yet in His name they serve themselves. Their self-regard crumbles in the light of their hateful iniquities. So, so true. Mr. McCraith. My friend, I'm so glad you agree. Now the wicked man never questions... I have your answers. What? Yes, good. Perhaps we should discuss this privately, if you'll give me just a moment. It's quite the story. You might not wish to hear it. Neither may the good people here. Please, this is not the time. We want to hear the story. Let the Banisher speak. Tell them, Red. Tell them good. Ah, there's a story that starts with a question. A question for you, Governor. And maybe for all the good people of New Eden. If I give you a witch, will you do what you did to Deborah Comenius? Comenius, say you? The school teacher walked with the devil and paid the appropriate price. That's the beginning of the history and also its end. Is it, though? Now, I've learned much about Deborah Comenius and what happened to her, and it tells a very different tale. And what story, pray you, does it tell? It tells the story of a man, a latter-day King Solomon. When plague struck his subjects, they turned to him for guidance and protection. For they were God-fearing folk, and he was a godly king. The king turned his flock to God, but was not enough. The plague spread on. The king, worried about his position, needed a sacrificial... There must be a man to judge. I live and let... I choose for the living. These people are sinners, sir, and must be led back. You... I... Aha! The wrongs you visited upon Deborah Comenius, the wrongs that... She died at the hand of the body politic. She died at all our hands. Most of all, she died at her own. She died because she would not submit. It was not my plan to kill her, stupid... You had the power to stop the madness, but instead you chose to let it run all the way to its barbaric conclusion. You brought the curse down on New Eden. Then you called we banishers in to fix your mistake. You boast of your knowledge of demons and spirits, but in truth, you master nothing. You're a peacock. All show and no meat. I'm not here today to bring justice. But this man, your governor, brought death to your doors. 
He deserves it. And shame on me if I don't do it. Hell's bells! No! <sighs> Friends, have I ever not served the interests of our community? Have I not protected you? Have I not loved you? Protect us. I will. While Mr. McCraith fights the curse of New Eden, I will protect the people of the Harrows. Or at least, I'll try. Now let's all return to our homes and pray for forgiveness and uh, the strength to bear the consequences of our actions. Your fee. One of the many debts my father left me. You'd best put your own debts first, young Master Huskell. Don't I know it? I hate this place. Rest up, then... Please, let's get out of here. 